Let's talk about CC. Those letters on every car and bike badge. You've heard people brag about their 500cc bike or 2-litre car. But what does that actually mean? CC is the engine size, its lung capacity for fuel and air, and a clue to its power. It's the most basic way to compare engines, from tiny scooters to roaring muscle cars. Think of CC as the suit size for your engine. You wouldn't buy one without knowing the fit. A higher CC usually means more power, but there's more to the story. Understanding CC is the first step to becoming a true petrol head. So, let's break it down. Next time someone mentions their 1200cc Tourer, you'll know exactly what they're talking about. You'll understand what makes an engine tick. And maybe, just maybe, you'll win that next pub argument. CC stands for cubic centimeters, a measure of volume, like milliliters or liters. 1000cc equals 1 liter, so a 2.0 liter engine is 2000cc. But what are we measuring? The total volume of all the engine's cylinders, its displacement. Picture each cylinder as a metal syringe. The space the piston sweeps out is its volume. Add up all the cylinders and you get the engine's total cc. More cc means more air and fuel can be burned, leading to bigger explosions and more power. That's why a V8 or V12 sounds so impressive. They have more cylinders, more volume, more potential. It's the engine's total lung capacity. The bigger the lungs, the bigger the bang. But remember, it's not just about size. How the engine uses that volume matters too. CC is your starting point for understanding any engine. So, how do you calculate CC? It's simple geometry. You need the bore, cylinder diameter, and stroke, how far the piston travels. The formula, pi x, bore, 2 to 2 x stroke, for one cylinder. Multiply by the number of cylinders and you have total displacement. For example, a single cylinder engine with a 5.4 cm bore and stroke gives about 124 cc. Four of those cylinders? Nearly 500 cc. But here's the twist bore and stroke ratios change how an engine feels. Long stroke, narrow bore, undersquare engines make more low end power. Think tractors. Short stroke, wide bore, over square engines love to rev. Think race cars. Two engines with the same cc can behave very differently. It's not just the size, it's how you use it. That's the magic behind engine design. So, does more CC mean more power? Usually, yes. Bigger engines burn more fuel and air, making more horsepower and torque. That's why a 6.2-litre V8 outmuscles a 1.0-litre city car. But CC isn't everything. Modern tech like turbochargers can make small engines punch above their weight. A 1.5-litre turbo engine today can match the power of a much bigger engine from the past. Formula One cars use tiny 1.6-litre engines, but with high revs and hybrid tech, they make over 1,000 horsepower. So, CC gives you a clue, but design, technology, and tuning matter just as much. A big engine can be lazy, a small, high-tech engine can be a rocket. Think of CC as the boxer's size. Skill and training are just as important. It's all about the balance. Let's see CC in action. Scooters, 5125 CC, super efficient, perfect for city life. Small cars and commuter bikes, 900, 1600 CC, great for daily driving, balancing power and economy. Mid-size cars and SUVs, 2000, 3000 CC, more power for families, hills and highways. Sports cars and big SUVs, 4000 plus CC, V8s and V12s, all about performance and drama. A 5.0-litre Mustang or 6.2-litre Camaro, that's pure power and noise. The bigger the CC, the bigger the thrills, but also the thirstier the engine. Every CC range has its purpose, from sipping fuel to shredding tires. That's the beauty of engine variety. And now, you know exactly what those numbers mean.